With new businesses and new developments coming to Corpus Christi, city officials are now looking to the west side for new development. Our Javier Guerra spoke to the city manager on the plans for the future. This corridor used to be the entrance to the city of Corpus Christi, but over the years, it has been long forgotten. The west side could soon see a positive change. Looking towards the future, as the city of Corpus Christi begins to rebound from the pandemic, growth has emerged across the area. Now city officials are looking at the west side. Do need you know, TLC on this side, and we've always been the back burner of the city. John Garcia, vice president of the West Side Business Association, says it's time to revamp the area and beautify the entrance of the city. Uh, the community has asked for, and, and we are recommending also better connectivity uh, to things like employment centers, recreation centers, some of our parks. City manager Peter Zanoni agrees that some changes need to go to the west side. He says it's also important to create more opportunity for the residents on that side of town. Uh, better drainage is a big issue for this area of town. Uh, we know that the city has a very, um, a very robust and uh, uh, important drainage project that will take place in the Lavoya area to take a lot of homes out of the floodplain. Zanoni says that it's important not to just consider development in the area, but how to modernize and help residents in that part of town. Myra Zamora, a local muralist and educator, says she would love to see the west side become an artistic destination. For me personally, I would love to see a lot more murals and public art on this side of town. If you would like to voice your opinion on what this side of town could use, the city will be hosting public hearings. You can catch all of that information on our website, ChrisTV.com. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Javier Guerra, Chris X News. And here's a quick look at what the 2022 bond project would cover for the city. It does include $92.5 million for streets. 20 million for parks, 10 million for public safety, and 2.5 million for facilities. Again, this has not yet been approved by city leaders, and it would not include a city property tax increase.